In any given week, none of us knows what the week might bring. This warehouse is where all the magic happens. That's why the American Red Cross prepares. They right now are stocking our shelves because when disasters happen, we have to move just that fast. We prepare supplies. These are our cots that we put into shelters. We prepare each other. 30 compressions, and then we get the two breaths. And that's going to be one cycle. This hard? Yep, that hard. Really? At least two inches deep. Wow. I am a jazzercise instructor, so, you know, sometimes people get sick in the classroom, so we need those, you know, CPR. Very important. Here in Western Washington, the Red Cross prepares ordinary citizens. They just brief the team, and then we go into the scenario. Volunteers to help in their community. Are you taking any medication right now? Uh, no. The first aid station team, or the FAST team, uh, they basically go to events in the, the King County area, and they'll provide uh, light first aid services. So we go to a lot of events, uh, such as 5Ks, half marathons. Are you feeling lightheaded at all? And basically what we do is we provide that immediate care before the paramedics and advanced medical care can arrive. Keep going, keep going. So all of that square bandage is covered. And we prepare those who might be a hero one day. Let's give a round of applause. Accidents happen. These kids are now advocates for themselves and for their friends. Is it too tight? No. So just in case there's an emergency and so you can be able to do it, just help the person. For today's heroes, those serving our country, the Red Cross provides emergency communications that link them with their families back home. I'm just calling to let you know that the Red Cross birth notification has been delivered to your husband's command. It's one of many ways we support our area's military families. Uh, how are you and the baby doing? Life can be very difficult for military families and we want them to know that Red Cross is there, not just for the service member and spouse, but also for parents, sisters, brothers, grandparents, for the extended family as well. When a disaster strikes, we send volunteers to where they're needed most. I have the form I just filled out. I received a call asking if I would be willing to deploy to Kentucky to uh, help the tornado victims there. Uh, so, of course, I said yes. Some disasters affect thousands in other parts of the country. 161,000 volunteers have volunteered with the Japanese Red Cross since the disaster. Or on the other side of the world. So keeping our staff abreast of what's happening helps us keep the community aware of how their support is going to help people around the world and not just locally. Some disasters affect one family. Basically, my house caught on fire. Right here in our community. And I have four little kids. I have nowhere else to go. We're there for them, too. What we really want to do is give them a secure and safe environment. And us being able to put them in a hotel for a few nights isn't quite home, but they're not out on the street, which is um, really important. In any given week, we prepare, we respond, we care that they are reliable and they are really great people. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have nowhere to go tonight. All of this was in just one week in communities across Western Washington. I like to help people. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for them, actually. Glad that we're here in order to help them. Week in, week out, 24-7, 365, Red Cross volunteers and workers throughout Western Washington save lives and strengthen communities. What will next week bring? No one knows, but we'll be there.